Hi, I'm Fox San Antonio's Jessica Headley. And I'm Ryan Wolf. Our, our greatest, greatest responsibility, responsibility is, is to, to serve, serve our, our Treasure Valley communities. The El Paso Las Cruces communities. Eastern Iowa communities. Mid-Michigan communities. We are extremely proud of the quality, balanced journalism that CBS4 News produces. But we are concerned about the trouble and trying to be responsible one time news stories plaguing our country. Plaguing our country. The sharing of biased and false news has become all too common on social media. More alarming, some media outlets publish these same fake stories without checking facts first. The sharing of biased and false, false news, news has, has become, become all too common, common on, on social, social media. media. More alarming, some media this is extremely dangerous to our democracy. 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 The greatest form of control is where you think you're free when you're being fundamentally manipulated and dictated to. One form of dictatorship is being in a prison cell and you can see the bars and touch it. The other one is sitting in a prison cell where you can't see the bar and you think you're free. What the human race is suffering from is mass hypnosis. We are being hypnotized by people like this. News readers, politicians, teachers, lecturers. We are in a country and in a world that is being run by unbelievably sick people. The chasm between what we're told is going on and what is really going on is absolutely enormous. The greatest hypnotist on planet Earth is a oblong box in the corner of the room. It is constantly telling us what to believe is real. It's time to lift the arse off the sofa and bring it into this nonsense. Because otherwise, um, we're just building our own prison cell or sitting around where someone does it. Is that sensible? I think not. So, are we going to make a stand now and draw a line in the sand and say here and no further? In fact, we're going to roll this back? Or are we going to wait until it's got really, really extreme, by which time there'll be so much infrastructure in place that drawing a line in the sand will be a serious challenge? You know, if you read um, Orwell's book, 1984, you know, Big Brother was not um, focusing uh, attention on controlling the whole of the population or monitoring the whole of the population primarily because most of the population would just sit there and, and, and stew anyway. Um, and were no problem to this control. But what this surveillance was targeting, or what the surveillance is targeting now, are people who are challenging the system, people who are becoming aware of what's going on and are having the guts to try to do something about it. I'm sick of this, and I'll tell you why I'm sick of it, because while these pathetic, naive people, despite all the evidence before them, are looking the other way, oh no, it's just paranoia, while they're doing that, they are allowing these people to impose their will on my children and my life, and I'm not having it. And if, um, if people would just um, engage a few more brain cells, open the eyes and look, they would see um, the scale of uh, fascism, no other word for it, um, that we are um, uh, being subjected to today. And if we don't wake up and we go on looking the other way, well, the fascism just gets more. And eventually, if you do it, well, then it'll be too late. Don't look to me for sympathy when it happens, mate, because you've got your chance now.